Hi guys, it's Sam from Elementary Technology. Um, today we are doing another um, visualizer video. This one I'm really excited about. It's Ava's new model, the Ava M90 UHD. Now, this camera is an optical camera compared to a digital camera, which effectively means that in a digital camera there is one lens, but in an optical camera there is six or seven lenses, which means each time that you refocus, it will remain crystal clear and really ideal for them, that finer detail that we'll discuss in a minute. Um, today's video, I'm just gonna cover over a few kind of lesson ideas of how we can integrate it into our um, you know, daily teaching routines and how it can save you time and also how you can use it for remote learning, which is quite key at the moment. So um, I've got it set up to my PC, which could be your computer desktop, which is connected to your touchscreen or a projector. It has VGA and HDMI connections as well to go direct and you can use the Ava remote control that comes with it as well. So, um, firstly I've got the Ava Touch software open here. This is gonna be the same across all your Ava visualizers where you will have the ability to use your freeze frame. We can still annotate over the top, oh, we can still annotate over the top like so um, for our scaffolding, peer assessment and live marking. We can also take pictures and record video still as well. So, um, I think the key thing that I wanted to show you here is the actual quality of the camera. This is, can fit a wide range of education from from you know, key stage one up to further education. So, um, it's got A3 coverage, you can see here, I've got a full textbook out, nice and clear, and we've actually got buttons on the visualizer itself, so if I use the zoom buttons here, we can zoom in, and as you can see, that image quality stays the same as well, no matter where we go. And we can use the freeze frame function on the actual visualizer itself. Um, to preempt pieces of work and assess our marking as well. Um, it does have a built-in lamp if needed, so you can see there that it will give it a bit of extra light as well. So um, that's kind of like your first um, usage, really easy as your normally, you know, your normal daily routine with teaching and for written work as an example. So next up, let's just have a look here. Um, I'm going to use this um, uh, watercolor painting here. So as a bit of an art sort of session what we can use the M90 UHD for is to really zoom in and get that finer detail so we could potentially discuss a different blend of colours, we can have a look at the tones um, and actually see them for ourselves. So let's just say we can focus in on the actual sun part here. There we go, as you can see the autofocus will work itself. So again we don't lose any of that detail or you can actually see the pixels on the actual image itself. So we as a class here could use the annotation tool. Uh, like so, um, and we could say, okay, uh, let's have a discussion about what the different tones are of oranges within the sun and why it benefits the light created around this space here. Okay, another idea, so we can just zoom straight back out, like so, and let's just clear our annotations off as well. Perfect. All right. Now, we have um, a Wi-Fi, little Wi-Fi dongle here that we actually use for wireless keyboards. Now on this, we do actually have some writing. You won't be able to see it here, but I'm just gonna show you the actual power of the M90 UHD itself. So, if we press our zoom button here, we get nice and close like so. There we go, perfect. So if it just focuses itself, there we go, brilliant. So you can actually see the CNC serial number, where it was made, and the actual kind of, you know, there are, there are some scratches on there as well. If we're looking at a bit more like a D, DT environment, this is still gonna be able to give you the option to do practical work. If you're looking at sort of engineering aspects for further education, you can really get into your finite details with your circuit board. You can discuss it as a class and you can really sort of knuckle down into and not have to worry about losing any detail also. As you can see, I can still keep going there as well and we can still get closer. So um, you can imagine how small that is and how easy it is to see that's such a, you know, a vibrant picture as well. So an excellent, excellent tool to use. There we go, we can go straight back. So um, another option here would be, um, let's say you are doing some practical work. I've just got um, a screw with a nut on um, and given the current circumstances, we wouldn't be able to have uh, people crowded round. Obviously we will be able to eventually, but this just gives you the option to do practical work again with the head being so flexible, we can manipulate it into a specific position we want. So let's, I want to get here like so, so we can see the actual um, nut itself and where it screws on. I can zoom in onto that specific part. We can wait for it to autofocus. There we go. And we can actually show each individual thread 
whilst it's being screwed on so we could count the threads we could see how many it would take to actually get to screw on to get close to the washer um, we can move this around it's all in live time as well so we can see here that it's not tight so if we tightened it up you would actually be able to see it again if you wanted any closer we could there we go perfect so you see nice and crisp until it actually got tight like so and again if you wanted to put that as an actual object on the table we can do we can press autofocus to get our clearest image again <coughs> and then we could label it as we need as well again um, like so uh, really simple really effective but you can see the real finite detail we can get and also you can see how much of the ability it will give you to do practical work again um, one more that we can sort of demonstrate is um, this is just like literacy so we're going back to written word here but we can see there that we have a full act and a full scene but the writing at the bottom is quite small so we're going to use the M90 UHD to benefit this and we're going to get nice and close in so let's zoom in here to the actual points at the bottom there we go then all of a sudden they're nice and big on the piece of paper everybody can see them you're not you're saving on print because you're not having to hand out individual pieces of paper you have one sheet that everybody can see at the same time and it gives you the opportunity to do your daily teaching routines as normal again um, so we're just going to zoom out there now lastly what um, I wanted to cover as well with this is it's ideal for a remote learning situation now because the camera is so good we could have an effective remote classroom set up quite easily and I'll show you how so I'm just going to position the visualizer and again the head is um, very manipulative so we can actually move it into position like so there we go brilliant now what you could use your let's just move it up a little bit actually perfect there we go that should be okay yeah brilliant so what you could actually use your visualizer for is a live time camera feed this will integrate with microsoft teams zoom google classroom any vc platform that you guys use for remote learning at the moment you could use one of these and have a real-time teaching experience as you can see here from the touch screen i am effectively addressing my classroom as I would normally. Now you could have a touch screen behind you or you could be using an interactive whiteboard with the projector and whichever way you would prefer. It's that versatile and really, really simple to do. And um, we've helped so many schools with this effect. Um, you know, it's, it, it's that easy to do that we'd be happy to like help and drill into to how a visualizer can assist you with remote learning really so um, and again if you wanted to change up you can just snap it back into position like so and we're straight back in then to our textbook so there we go perfect brilliant okay so that's just a little snippet of the n90 uhd just to cover optical zoom really really clear can get really close detail across all departments it's a really good all-rounder and um, can suit any remote learning any sort of pre-recorded um, demonstrations if you wanted to do practical work there is the ability to record in the software um, and you can share this internally with your other members of staff if they're doing the same curriculum or alternatively you could potentially share it to pupils who are off at the moment so they still get the same lesson feel um, we are more than happy to show you an m90 uhd or any of the ava range or um, on Zoom, Teams, whichever one you prefer, or we can still do demos live if it's something that you would consider as well. So um, thank you very much for listening. Um, we run the Visualizer Shop, which is www.thevisualizershop.com. Um, if you want to find out more, then please let us know.